Hey, how's everyone doing? We'll get right into it. It's February 16, 2004. Canucks are in Colorado. The game's going smoothly until with less a minute left in the second, this happens. The mile high hit would send Naslin, the league leader in points, to concussion protocol. Moore, on the other hand, would receive no penalty on the play or punishment by the league. This just didn't sit right with Canucks fans, and after the game, they would let it be known. Brian Burke, Canucks GM and former chief disciplinarian, commented on the hit, saying, This is clearly a marginal player going after a superstar with a head-hunting hit. Brad May issued a bounty on Moore. Bertuzzi also commented, Naslin would miss three games, but would be back for the next meeting between the clubs. Due to the comments made by Canucks players, Gary Bettman would attend the game. The game would be played to a 5-5 tie with no incident. It's now March 8th. The Avalanche are in Vancouver for the first time since the incident. The Canucks were looking for more, and Matt Cook would find him early. Moore and Matt Cook. And Moore lands a couple of rights. Cook trying to fight back. And Moore gets his jersey over his head. Now Cook again. Well, Vancouver waited till they got home. They had this chance to do this in Colorado. After that, it's really not going well for the Canucks. It's 5 nothing after the first period. And the VP, Colin Campbell, and director of officiating, Andy Van Hellman, they make a call to the two officials in charge, discussing potential escalation and physicality. It's now 8-2 with just over 10 minutes to go, and Bertuzzi is looking to provoke more. Moore doesn't take the bait, so Bertuzzi takes it into his own hand. Todd Bertuzzi after Steve Moore. Grabs his shoulder, having a little chat with him, grabs his sweater, gives him a whack, and piling on is that rainy collision, and everybody's into it. Now we get a lot. It would take 10 minutes for them to get Moore off the ice. In an interview the next night, Bertuzzi would apologize, saying, For the kids that watch this game, I'm truly sorry. I don't play the game that way, and I'm not a mean-spirited person. Bertuzzi would be suspended 20 games and during the 2004-05 lockout was not permitted to play overseas. He would, in fact, play 10 more years in the league. Steve Moore, on the other hand, wouldn't sniff the NHL again, suffering a concussion and a fractured vertebrae. Moore would initiate a lawsuit against Bertuzzi. Naslin wasn't impressed, saying, This is just a guy who's trying to hit a home run financially, Naslin told the son, someone who wasn't good enough to play. Naslin also stressed that he is not saying what Bertuzzi did was right, but if it was me, I'd be doing everything I could to get back and play and show everyone the character I have instead of trying to sue everyone. You could say there was no love loss between the two men. Bertuzzi and Moore would settle out of court for an unknown amount in 2014. At this point, Moore and the hit seem to have been forgotten about, but Bertuzzi, on the other hand, has not. Sending the 2000s, the West Coast Express rolls again with the premier power forward of his time, Todd Bertuzzi! 